On Wednesday, May 7th, the UK Independence Party hosted a rally in the heart of Westminster. Protesters flocked in their dozens, while attendees to hear Nigel Farage and his colleagues outnumbered them by about five to one. Anti-UKIP activists were urged to attend by groups like Unite Against Fascism, themselves having had ties to questionable individuals and groups in the United Kingdom. The killer of British soldier Lee Rigby, who was murdered on a London street by an Islamist terrorist, spoke at a United Against Fascism meeting in 2009. The mood created by protesters was downright unpleasant. As business people and elderly individuals queued to get into the UKIP event, they were accosted and abused by protesters. Some were concerned that the media was filming them, as they willingly confessed to being motivated by hate, calling themselves the UKIP haters. This man called me a faggot for wearing a pink shirt. I thought these were supposed to be the tolerant folks. A BBC comedy outfit even attempted to stoke tensions by pretending to be UKIP activists and charging at the crowd. They were swiftly ejected by police. I asked other protesters what they'd say to UKIP leader Nigel Farage if he was standing in front of them. Uh, if Nigel Farage was standing in front of you right now, what would you say to him? I would say that he was a liar and a hypocrite. I would say, Nigel Farage, shame on you. We have no place here in London for racist bigots and um, bankers like you. Shame on But the scenes inside the event were drastically different. Speakers of various ethnic origins took the stage to defend against the cries of racism and hit back at the British press for buying into the lies. I would like to speak today about why I think the UK Independence Party is not only good for Britain, but also great for all British people, irrespective of race, colour and religion. Some protesters got into the hall, unaware of the irony of shouting racist scum at the black security men and the black Jewish speaker on stage. UKIP leader Nigel Farage took to the stage at the end, saying he felt like a supporting act to the diverse candidates who preceded him. He very much was. He issued a plea to media and political parties alike. Whether it will be heeded is anyone's guess. These speakers, I feel like I'm nothing more than a supporting act. I don't care what you call us. You can call us right wing, left wing. You can call us small-minded, you can call us whatever you want. I don't get what you call us. But from this moment on, please, do not ever call us a racist party. We are not... <laughs>